Well, hello, everybody. I uh, haven't been posting a lot of videos of what I've been making, but I have been making a lot, as you see. I figured I'd bring you in here and take a look on some of the things that I've made recently. We got this one with the Yadkin point on there. And as you can see, that's a big pipe. I made this one a while back. I really do dig it. It's made out of some North Carolina soapstone. A nice little turtle on the inside right there. My lizard pipe. Lizard or snake. Little stove pipe type with some copper inlay. Another smaller one, look that style. This is some local material. That's found. Um, I was given this by a gentleman who has it in his garden as a stepping stone. And I brought it home and turned it into a few good pipes. Another one of that same material. made this little guy a long time ago. This is one of the first ones I made. This is the one that Ken sent me for Christmas. I love this pipe. This pipe's gonna stay around forever. So I had to play around a little bit and I took two different types of material and glued them together and made kind of a disc pipe. I'm not sure if I like it or not. It's different though. And then down here, let me move these out of the way. This is some Brazilian soapstone that I bought, and it's really nice. A couple of small little just stemmed pipes. Of course, there's the wolf. A pedestal pipe made out of that local stuff. This is some really good material. I just wish I could find out where he found it and I could go harvest a bunch. Piece of dendrite. This is when I learned that you can't really make pipes out of dendrite because if you look, you start getting it and it cracks. And this, this actual piece right here actually came off and I glued it back on. But that's from that dendrite soapstone. 
one of the first pipes I ever made. When I was just learning what I was doing. And you can see it's it's a bit crude. But still knowing that I went from that to some of these others. Just playing around with some material. And then I got some soapstone from Ken for Christmas as part of my Secret Santa gift. And I turned it into this. This is a nice Micmac style. And this is some really cool material. Really nice material. And when you put light in it, it actually glows. It's translucent. It looks so cool when you when you shoot some light through that. Then here's one that I made today. This is more of that Brazilian. more of the Brazilian, you know, the Micmac style. And then I got a pedestal that I was playing around with, and there's Ken's Snyder he sent me. But that's some of the pipes that I've made here recently, and I'll keep working on them, keep making more. And, but I just wanted to give you guys an update saying that I have been I have been carving. I just haven't been posting everything that I've carved. But everybody have a good time. Keep hunting. Keep digging. Keep carving. And have a Merry Christmas, everybody.